welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and today I will be taking callers live in a moment. Just a few announcements before I do that. Um, so I want to thank everybody on YouTube that has joined in and is watching the show. And I want to thank everyone who has called in and is listening to the show. Join me Wednesday with my co-host Dylan, and we will be taking your questions and answering all of your relationship questions. Today, you can ask about anything. My show's on Monday. Should It should be called Anything Monday. If you want to connect with a loved one today, happy to help you connect with a loved one. If you want to um, uh, ask about love, career, work, finances, any aspect of your life at all, I'm happy to help you with that. But things are a little uneven here. I don't know what's going on. It's making me look like my eyes are... Yeah, yeah, you guys don't care about that, do you? <laughs> okay, I want to thank Mimi and say hi to Mimi. Hi, love. How are you? And Heather, I hope everybody had a phenomenal weekend here in the U.S. We are celebrating Thanksgiving this week. If you are someone who cel celebrates Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you. Hey, Patrick, I hope everything's going well. I hope you're recovering from your loss. I know that it was very just painful for you, and I'm so sorry that you went through that. Okay, I am going to go to the first caller and the first caller is dun 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 four one five. Hey four one five, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. This is Anne in Washington. Hey Anne, how can I help you today? Um, well, since you've been having a uh, relationship shows, I don't my question is not about a a timeline, any kind of timeline, but what more about the situation that I might meet somebody? Oh. If it's, uh, okay, like the how? The area or the things I'm doing. Okay, so you do you want to know how and where you're going to meet someone or the type of, uh, uh, is is it the how and where you, you're going to meet someone? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So but I don't need the when. Okay. I don't think ever <laughs> Excellent. So the first thing I hear um, is travel. I feel like you are going to meet oh. somebody while you are traveling. Now, let me be clear. Um, if we, I, you know, we always think the, the, is it the broader spectrum of things? When I say travel, oh, I, I need to take a trip to Acapulco. Or, you know, I need to plan a trip. Right. It doesn't always mean that. It can mean like a tr trip oh. to the store sometimes when you're tr traveling from one place to another. Now, if it does specifically mean travel. Now, the first word I heard is travel. So let me like get in there and look around that word and see what they have coming in as more than that. Okay, I'm hearing two things. I do want to ask you, do you have any travel planned in the near future? Um, I'm not, I don't. Okay. I mean, I always want to. That's my favorite thing. So maybe I was thinking in April, but I'm thinking of local travel, just up to Idaho and Montana. Okay. Well, for, the, for now, for sooner travel would be local. And the spring would be another country. Okay. I'm going to tell you, you have the potential to meet somebody while traveling. And I, I'm going to say this. I feel like the person you meet might not be um, local. They're not. I feel like they might not be where they don't live where you live. Okay. It took a lot. How come it took so much to get that little sentence out? <laughs> hi, yeah, yeah. They're local to their area. Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, what I feel like is you two might be geographically challenged 
but it's not going to be a problem. I don't <laughs> feel like this is going to be the, not that there is a the person. I feel like this person coming in is a in between person. Now you can make this last as long as you want, obviously. But I do feel right. like the person coming in, it, the next person coming in is more of a short term relationship. And a lot of people tell me, well, I just want to skip that. I want to go to the, the next person, the, the final person. But sometimes yeah, we have right. to, I, and I get that. I really do. But sometimes we have to learn. We have to learn a little bit more about what we want and our boundaries right. and when to cut things off and to not settle unless it's really what we want. OK, so the person coming in is actually going to be you. You two are there to teach each other a little bit about what you want now i am going to say this just because somebody comes in and you have a relationship with them and it's a little bit more short term so whatever short term is in this case we can get into that in a moment that doesn't mean you got to do the deed he doesn't have to put his ho-ho in your ding dong if you don't want that, that that's <laughs> not <laughs> i know i'm so mature when i talk about this stuff right and if you're watching me on youtube i'm turning completely red because yeah sometimes but you know youtube really censors things plus this show airs on wscs roku and other like actual tv right. stations so i have to watch my verbiage and i guess ho ho and ding dong are better than other words i don't know but um <laughs> And it makes people laugh, yeah, and I love yeah. making people laugh. So this person's going to come in yeah. while you are traveling. Will this get intimate to a certain extent? Will and I'm hearing that that statement. It's from a movie. This just might go all the way. Nope, nope, it won't. I feel like you two are not going to go all the way. Um, I feel like you might, you know, have some very intimate conversations but the beautiful thing sometimes and i want to say this and i cannot be more clear sometimes when somebody comes in and we think they might be a prospective partner um we can open up to them and find out things about ourselves and then find out things about them and the fact that you guys are geographically challenged will help you to but uh, not get so immersed in this person and really explore <sighs> what you like and what you don't like about this person without being in that place of where is this going? Okay. That where is this going uh -huh. question burns us in the booty every single time. I do feel like this should not go intimately all the way. I feel like the intimate part of this relationship should be that getting to know, talking to each other, conversation part of it, and really not being afraid to ask those questions or dig deep into what what you want. Like use this, not use, but you know, but, uh, this person would be a great sounding person for how you would converse with your next partner if you were to have one. I, not if you were, you are going to have one. That didn't come out right. Um, when that person comes in, which again when. will mm -hmm. be right on the heels. I feel like it's going to be right on the heels of this person that you're going to communicate with. And I do want to tell you the person coming in, I don't know what this means and I don't know why I'm hearing it. Do not go to Seattle. I don't think you need to go to Seattle to meet this person, but I do feel like this person or you, there's something about Seattle. So maybe originally this person is from, I'm sorry. A connection to Seattle. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, there. See? Um, so I, that's what I have for you today. I really hope this was helpful. Wonderful. I, I hope that you did get a lot. And thank you so much for listening, um, Anne, and being a
with you or put you on mute, not hang up. I'm going to do a clearing. Um, there's something stopping or blocking us from healthy, loving relationships. I get a yes. And let's clear everybody listening, re-listening. Oh, um, watching, re-watching. Now, we can be in a relationship and want that relationship to be healthy and loving. So it doesn't mean somebody, if you're already in a relationship, it doesn't mean somebody new has to come in. We can just clean up our stuff so that the relationship we're already in can be healthier and more loving. And thank you so much for calling in. It's always such an honor and a pleasure to talk with you. And I am going to go directly to 515. 515, where are you calling from? What's your name? Amy from Omaha. Hi, how are you today? Good, how are you? Excellent. How can I help you today? I guess any messages for me in terms of work, um, relationships. Okay, so typically on the show, I'm sorry I didn't say this when I first started. Um, typically on the show, I ask that you have a specific question or connection available. I want to tell you, do you have a grandma on okay. the other side that was a little bit thinner? In the end, in the end, she was a little bit thinner. Near the end, she was a little bit thinner. There's a woman standing as soon yeah. as, okay, she's here. She's here as, and I know, I know, like, I know, like, I know, like, I know this is for you because as soon as I clicked on the microphone for your call, she started to come in and she, she, she came in like a fade in not a fade out. Like I could barely see her and now I can see her very clearly. And she's like right in front of me. So um, she actually does have a message for you. And I love that this is happening for you because um, you didn't really have a specific question. So I guess this might be why she's coming in and she wants to say to you, um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, so you tend to be really hard on yourself sometimes. And you tend to either uh -huh. you're being really hard on yourself about a specific area, or all the way around. And I feel like it is more all the way around. And the one thing she wants to say to you is go, go. Um, there's this song that says, take it easy on me. She's saying, take it easy on yourself. Take it easy on yourself. You're doing so much better than you think you are. You've come so much further than you than than you um then you know then you know okay so the one thing she the first and most important message she wants to give you is take it easy on yourself and the way things are today is not the way they're going to be tomorrow you um everything can turn around like with a snap of a finger, if, if, um, how do I say, if you, uh, not if you allow it to, because people are, you know, people don't always comprehend that sort of statement. But the one thing she is saying is, and it's really important for you to understand is, um, your thought processes have brought you to where you are. And if you change your thoughts, they can take you to where you want to be. So, and I know this because I'm, I manifest all the time and I work with the power of thought and I work with, with my mind and keeping, trying to keep my mind very clean and positive and where I want things to go rather than focusing on where mm -hmm. I've been. So what she is basically stating to you is to work on only thinking about what you want in the positive way. She's saying there are some really big changes coming in for you and they're all good. You it um and these changes are destined. So get ready and when things start to change, don't worry about oh no what can go wrong because I feel like you might be a person who doesn't embrace change very well. She's saying ride the wave and allow all these changes to come in and work with you. They're all for your, they're all 
to help you be where you want to be or get what you want to get. So as these changes come in, whether they're in work or your private life, um, and they're in both areas, you, you have changes coming in in both areas. And what she's saying is just hold on tight and go with it because in the end, it's all going to work out for what you want. I hope that's, I hope that's really helpful. Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. And she wants to say she loves you and she's with you all the time and she watches over you while you sleep. Ah, <laughs> thank you so much for calling in today. <laughs> like when they, I, I have to tell you, so when, when a loved one is bringing a message through, it's almost like I don't breathe and I'm just getting the message out and I'm trying, not trying, but it's coming through and I'm so intent on it. So when they fade away or they're done with their message or I'm done with a private session, I can just go, ah, oh, like, it's like, okay, I did it. <laughs> like, yay me. Like, it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. <laughs> Pure silliness, I tell you, just very, very silly. <laughs> okay, I hope this is helpful. Please know she's always watching over you. So as you fall asleep, you know, okay, she, she does have one more thing to say. And this is not for you. It's for everybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, whatever. As children at this time of year, we were so intent on our Christmas list, right? We were like, oh my God, I'm going to ask for this for Christmas. I'm going to ask for that for Christmas. I'm going to put this on my Christmas list. And depending on our age, we were like, I'm going to put, get, you know, tell Santa I want this or that. What she's saying is make your grandma list, make your loved ones list. And she's not the only one over there. So anything that you want as you're falling asleep, and believe me, once we are on the other side, it will be our honor and our pr privilege to help those that are here to accomplish what they want to accomplish in their lives, okay? What we will be doing is helping them succeed and accomplish in a very, whatever way I can, I can talk for a hundred years about this. But what I'm going to say right now is make your grandma list or your loved one list. And every night as you fall asleep, really visualize and think about what it is you want to bring into your life and how you want that to look and how you want it to feel. And as you're falling asleep, almost like a lucid dream, really visualize it. So if you want that promotion, if you want that new job, if you want that, um, you know, whatever it is for you, start visualizing it as you fall asleep and talking to your loved ones on the other side. Now, you don't have to talk out loud so people in your home think you're a little, you know, la cuca la rue. You want to say it internally because these are your wishes and your prayers. So as you put them out there, be very mindful and you can't do it wrong, okay? You can't, like, don't think, oh my God, gosh, during my manifestation or my prayers to my loved ones, I, I let slip in that, you know, I really don't like this. And now that's in there. Nope, nope, nope. They can discern between what you really want and what's meant for you and, you know, whatever else. Um, so just do that. And it's, it's their honor to help all of this come in. Remember, we're here to create and co-create. That's that's our whole purpose here. Whatever we want to create and co-create, that's our purpose. And, and we're creating our work. We're creating our careers. We're creating our money balance. And we're either creating out of faith or we're creating out of fear. So if we have a fear that we're going to go broke, guess what? That's what we're actually creating. So use your time that you're as you're falling asleep to create everything you want in a beautiful, like magnificent way as though you were dreaming your future life. 
And I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to do a healing right now. There's something stopping or blocking us from having what we want. I absolutely get a yes on that. <laughs> so we're going to clear that. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Make those lists and send them off to your loved ones. I want to thank you so much for calling in. I want to try to get one more person in. Uh, well, I should be able to get a couple more people in. But thank you, beautiful girl, for calling in. And I again, uh, communicate with your grandma and other loved ones as you fall asleep. I'm going to go to 850. 850, how are you today? Oh, doing good. Uh, just wanted to see if I can just get a little mini reading and some spiritual messages. I do have a particular thing on my mind. Okay. Well, I wonder how the rest of my year is going to be turning out. But I have one thing on my mind is my daughter, her father took her from me. Um, when, uh, And so I'm trying to rebuild a relationship with her and she just constantly pushes me away and is mean and usually I just you know ignore it and I don't come out and say anything to her because I know she's wanting a response for me to get mad so usually I don't say anything and this time I said something and told her she was being mean and very disrespectful to me all because I didn't spell her baby's name right and that I was being disrespectful because I didn't know the meaning of her baby's name and I didn't spell her name right you know and I'm just I'm just so frustrated and, you know, and then if I ignore it and don't say anything, then she acts like it never happened. Okay. So it's like, I don't know what to do at this point. Okay. So she's an adult and she said in her ways. And so um, what I'm going to say is there's a lot of years here. First of all, there are a lot of years here. There's a lot of what? Years, years, like Y-E-A-R-S. There are a lot of years here that have been compromised in your relationship is the best way I can put this. Now, it doesn't matter whose fault it is, right? It doesn't. What I would, what I'm getting, and, and, and whether it's your ex's or, or her dad's fault or her fault, or let's not play blame because when we're playing blame, we can't resolve. Okay, we just we can't resolve. Um, she obviously but one she of the things. Me. She, she, well, okay, so she let's just. Me, and I know what's her. Okay, what we're gonna do right now, love, and um, if you want to get angry with me for putting you on mute, that's okay. But you need to practice your listening skills right now. And if you want to hang up on me, please don't, because I think what the angels are about to tell you is really important, but you need to stop talking and start listening. Okay. And I don't feel bad about that because my angels say that to me all the time. You need to shut up and listen, girl, because I'm constantly asking questions and I'm constantly in my head talking and they're like, shush it. Listen, you asked a question, get your answer. And here's your answer, okay? Now, some people might think I'm a little not so sensitive in the way I bring some people's answers through. Well, maybe that's because they don't listen to soft and mushy answers. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more firm for certain people. And I'm going to tell you, your daughter is hurt. Anybody who uses antagonistic behavior to get a reaction is acting out of hurt and pain. That doesn't mean you have to put up with that. Not at all. Not at all. One thing that I am getting for you and your daughter is you need to do some bonding exercises and maybe go to therapy. And I am not a huge therapy person. I don't believe we should sit in somebody's office and talk and talk and talk about our problems. I do believe that we should move forward. But in the case of you and your daughter, I do believe that your daughter has been told a few things that are not accurate. And I do believe that some of the her beliefs about the past may be flawed and they need to be brought to the open and they need to be re-examined and they need to be re-looked at from a different perspective. You are not going to be able to give her that perspective, 
Okay. I am going to do a healing for, because, it, and again, we're coming up on the holidays here. So let's do a healing. Um, there's love and respect between us and our family members. I get a no. So we're going to clear that. There's a number of years of hurt and what your daughter feels is abandonment, whether that is your choice or not, these are her feelings. Whether you had control of this or not, those are her feelings. So I would strongly recommend you either find a really good healer um, that can help you with this, maybe somebody who does some clearing work like um, Jimmy Mack. He's very powerful. He does a great job. Uh, you can contact me or you go seek therapy and get some very clear cut answers and a program on moving forward together or individually. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to be able to do this. 585. I'm so happy. 585. 585. How are you today? <laughs> Tony. Excellent. What's your question? It's, and I'm running a little short, so we're going to get straight into your question. What's your question for me today, love? No problem. Um, what do you see for me financially, Tony? Okay. The first thing I hear is good, and I love that. We don't need to hear great, sensational, you know, windfalls. I do see two gold coins falling for you. Now, gold coins are amounts of money coming in that we do not expect. We're coming up on the end of the year. One of these gold coins may be some sort of tax relief or tax return. That makes sense. Um, one gold coin is a little bit bigger than the other one. Now, again, the gold coins, when I see little gold coins fall, these are money that we didn't work for. Necessary. Well, I think we worked for our tax returns, but it's not, it's not a paycheck per se. It's not that money that we expect every week. Um, so I'm getting two gold coins. The first gold coin I think is going to come in within a month to a month and a half. The second one will be right around February, March. I do think they're not like they're not lottery winnings, unfortunately. They might be small jackpot winnings. Like if you do a smaller one, I don't, I'm not saying go play lottery. I'm saying this money is coming to you no matter what. And then in June, in June, ooh, I like you. In June, you are going to have a, an unexpected, I don't want to use that word. I don't want to make it bigger than it might be. You are going to have some unexpected money come in again in June. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be a large amount, a small amount, because everybody has their own belief on what what a big amount of money is or isn't. Large or small, yeah. Exactly. So look forward to what's coming in soon. Your money should stay pretty okay, stable. Um I am getting, and I'm, I'm really running down, so I'm going to talk really fast here. I am getting that you should uh, look for something that can help you supplement, bring in more money that doesn't take a lot of your time or energy. And I do feel like you're going to find that within a week if you are really open to it. If not, that's okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening and watching today. I cannot wait until Wednesday show. Otherwise, I'll be back next Monday to take general questions. I love each and every one of you. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. Bye.